there are a lot of questions that would arise when we say about bowel you know like still you know like lot of lifters yeah. don't understand what is bodybuilding what is power lifting what is strong man and yeah. stuff like that so i'm just gonna ask few uh, directed questions so that people understand how power lifters work most of the people yeah. think if it's a power lifter he does bench squat deadlift all day long but uh, let me ask you some questions that will you know like give them a real understanding yeah. if a power lifter wants to increase his bench numbers what are all the techniques that he uses see they say uh, power lifting squat bench and deadlift has three different lifts squat is about guts you know squat is about really that guts to stand under the load and go down bench is about technique yeah deadlift is the size of the man's heart you know it's like it's the yeah. size of the man's heart or woman's heart it's the size of the heart but but bench is technique you cannot get better at bench with a shitty technique there is nobody who benches with a shitty technique big numbers big numbers as per their body weight as per their experience and all bench in particular first is technique i would look at the technique i would look at the stroke i would look at the enhancing the setup itself where they are tight really tight from the scapulae from the upper back traps on the bench everybody talks about traps on the bench but everybody can do that by doing traps this way and getting on the bench no it's depressing the traps in the scapula now this is the kind of information that is lacking on social media this is the reason why i keep hosting this technique clinics or you know translate those cues that we always hear on the internet to what it actually means on the ground these are all known stuff be tight on the bench how to be tight on the bench what is tightness should i just squeeze everything from my neck to toe or what does a tightness mean how to transfer the leg drive to the bar how to get a pause on the bench and then explore from it you know so those kind of technique related stuff is the first thing that i look into second i look at the place where they fail off the chest mid range or where is it of the chest is very simple you need to work your upper back because upper back acts like a spring and other thing of face failing in the middle is tricep and speed the faster i can push explosively from the chest the lesser load in the tricep if i push it slow then at one point the entire load without momentum is transition to your tricep on the chest you have shoulder you have chest you have upper back and you have arms there's so yeah. much of muscle pushing it off and if we go slow from there you reach a point where all these bigger muscles are out fairly upper back is no longer pushing it your chest is no longer pushing it as much shoulder is also not contracted that much so the only thing that is going to push it out is just a tricep and tricep is three muscle otherwise you had so many muscles on the chest when the bar was on the chest so this kind of things so technique speed speed is very important in bench the explosiveness of the chest to follow it yeah. through to a knockout yeah. third is muscle uh, you will never see a thin bencher who is lifting who is benching big it's always going to be a thick yeah. guy yeah. arms forearms shoulder chest upper back so so a lot of muscle is needed again not by training on machines 